Hi, this is Programming for Everybody and in this video I will show you how to install the Qt framework without having an account. So you want to install the Qt framework but you don't have an account? Okay, don't worry, in this video I will show you how to install the open source version of the Qt framework without needing an account. Okay, so first we are going to download the installer. So uh, in your browser, type qt.io and this will take you to the official Qt web page. Okay, so now we are going to search for the installers. We need the open source. So here in the search bar, I'm going to type off line and here it shows the download offline installers option. So I'm going to click here and now I have to choose the version that I want to download. The latest is the 5.12. Um, version so I'm going to click here and now we have to choose the operating system we have the Linux option Mac OS or Windows right now I'm working on Windows so I'm going to download the Windows uh, offline installer okay so I will open this in a new tab and now the yeah, download has started so this will take several minutes okay just be patient and uh, after the download I I will be back so see you so welcome back I have already run the installer and if you click on the next button this is the welcome window if you click on next you'll see a, a form in which you can type your email and your password. But what happens if you don't have already an email? Well, you can create uh, with uh, your email an account. But if you don't want to create an account and if you don't have an account already, uh, what can you do? Well, you can click here on the settings button and change the manual proxy configuration okay here under ftp proxy you can type zero and with that you are telling the installer that the files are already in your computer so we already downloaded the qt framework and now we want to tell the installer that the files are already in our computer, okay? So, you click OK, then next, the settings will be changed, and if you click once again next, now you can proceed with the installation, okay? So, I'm gonna click next. First, we have to choose the destination folder, in which the, uh, all the libraries will be installed. I will leave it just as it is under the C volume. You can uh, change it, but I'm going to leave it like that. Next, we have to choose if we want to install the libraries or not. So we want to install the Qt framework. So I'm going to check one of these boxes okay so uh, here we have to choose um, an application a compiler which will uh, uh, which will be installed so i'm going to choose mink w the 64 version and with this we are going to be able to build our solutions, okay? And 
Also, you have to check under Developer and Designer Tools once again the same version of the compiler you used before. So I'm going to check Ming W64. Okay, so this is the compiler version that will be installed, and here under QD 5.12, it's the libraries of QT. Okay, so you have to be careful and check that the version is the same as your system type. If you don't know which type of system you have, you can go to your search bar, type sys, s, y, s, and there under system information, well, you just click, and you have there the information. Under system type, in my case is x64, it's a 64 uh, bits based PC. So if you have a uh, 32 based, well, you check uh, ming w32. Okay, so now we can continue, just click next. We have to accept the license agreement, so, okay, I agree, and next. Then the menu shortcut, how will the system uh, show the application in the system menu? I will leave it like Qt 5.12, you can change it, but I'm gonna leave that. In the way, that way, sorry. And now we are ready to proceed with the installation. Okay, so ready to install. I'm going to install the QD framework. So now it is already installing, and let's wait a little bit and it will finish. And that's it. Now you have the Qt framework installed in your computer without needing a Qt account, okay? So if this video was helpful, just give it a like, a comment and share, and that's it. See ya!